A team of Australian and international scientists has used satellite imagery to chronicle the collapse of an ice shelf in Antarctica that was as big as New York. Antarctic reporter Jano Gibson joins us now from Hobart. Jano, what happened to this ice shelf? Yeah, so this ice shelf was called Conga Glenzer. It was about 1,200 square kilometres in size, which, as you said, was about equivalent to the size of New York City. And back in 2022, so just a couple of years ago in March, uh, scientists observed uh, from satellite imagery that it collapsed literally over a number of days, it disintegrated. And so this team got together, a team that included a couple of members from the Australian Antarctic uh, Program Partnership here in Tasmania. And they examined satellite imagery going back about 25 years. And what they were able to work out is that there were four key stages in the evolution of this this ice shelf in East Antarctica. So it began in about 1997. They began to notice that it was separating from uh, the Shackleton, the much larger Shackleton ice shelf. And then it proceeded to reduce in its surface area about 10% over the next decade or so. That reduction then sped up in the following few years. And finally, in 2022, there was this what coincided with a very significant and extreme unprecedented weather event in Antarctica, the ice shelf suddenly collapsed over those number of days. So these, these satellite images were able to identify these four key stages in the process of the evolution. And what was particularly concerning to these scientists was that this happened in East Antarctica. Previously, they had observed using satellite imagery about 10 similar sudden rapid collapses of ice shelves in Antarctica, but those were in West Antarctica and on the Antarctic Peninsula. This had happened in East Antarctica, which had previously be been considered much more stable. Mm. So why do you think, Jano, that scientists say this type of research is so important? Well, ice shelves play a very critical role in Antarctica. They surround about two thirds of the Antarctic continent and the Antarctic continent is covered in an ice sheet that holds an enormous amount of ice. Enough scientists say to raise global sea levels by 58 metres if it were to all melt. And these ice shelves on the perimeter, they act, they buttress the ice sheets. Uh, essentially, if you can think of a cork in a bottle, they stop the water flowing out of the bottle. If they begin to disintegrate, more water comes through and if they fully disintegrate then the water flows through. So that's why scientists are so uh, concerned about ice shelves uh, dis um, disintegrating or collapsing, particularly in East Antarctica. And they really want to understand the processes that lead up to those collapses.